Hello, welcome to my channel, Connection of Lives and Interests. This is Sharon coming to you on Monday, June 5th. And I started doing the row, cleaning out the weeds and putting down um, fabric, you know, landscape fabric. And then the dirt that I dug up, I just put down on that to hold it down. And then I've got a pot there that's not doing so well, but it's okay. And then we have handprints, stone there, and a tool. Mr. Thumbs Up said that uh, he didn't think that a heavy wind, um, if a heavy wind came through, it would cause it to blow away. So I did that one last night, and he said he would do all the rest of the weeding in between the corn from now on and look at how much better it looks because it's all just green corn so I showed where I put down the fertilizer um, 10 10 10 and then I topped it with soil and then I didn't water it in until last night because it was dark by the time that I uh, was ready but look at how happy it is but we're both still concerned about and you might have all answered already but we're both still concerned about this not being hardy ground to hold the corn stalk up because you know they keep leaning and everything but look at how gorgeously happy the corn is and um nothing's been bothering the corn so mr thumbs up said that um he had to dig all this up to put a barrier in between the woods because the wood grass which <laughs> little there is wants to grow into the corn happies but look at um now that I think about it, okay, <laughs> my brain's kicking in. What do you know? And it didn't hurt one bit. <laughs> the, the corn is leaning towards the sun. The sun always is coming from that way, so that's why they're all leaning that way. Hmm. So that's normal. We know that. As growers, planters. <laughs> but I love the corn. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I'm just hoping for a good outcome. So Mr. Thumbs Up is talking about staking them up. And then I talked about maybe utilizing what we have for these cages that I've used in previous years. And then, you know, like this kind of thing, just have it resting on the ground and have this at the end part of the cage per row. And he said, but then we wouldn't be able to get between the rows of corn. So I was thinking of putting it right up to the, the edge of each corn thing. So cage there cage there but then he said it'd be hard to get through so then I suggested how about we start at the front and we put a cage on the very front row and then we skip it and we do a cage on the very front row of each and then we would have just a cage here and have this openness so we could walk through. So that would be one, two, three, four pieces of cage to put down. But we're learning as we grow, so just keep watching. Uh, I have many, many updates of the vegetable garden but any of you that love to garden know the excitement of watching it all grow 
and monitoring yam. So I just learned and shared that Jessica Dumpster Diver has corn growing in pots and that's what I originally wanted to do. But we'll see how this year goes and I said to Mr. Thumbs Up I would like to do pots next year and he said no. So we'll just see because he's talking about next year digging deeper and building a stronger soil surface but yeah so this is just about the cornfield i'm excited no matter what happens i love the success so far it's fun to watch them i hope you give me a thumbs up if you like this video i hope you'll join my channel by subscribing if you haven't yet I have a content for everybody and playlists for all different things so that there's something for everybody and I alternate my content so nobody gets bored with what I post and I hope you'll hit that bell um, if you don't want to miss any upcoming notifications. Okay, be kind, be nice, be encouraging no matter where you are through the internet. I haven't given up on that one. We can touch lives, we can encourage people, we can make them smile, laugh, and give encouraging words. No matter where we are through the internet. Thanks for watching. Bye!